have you been paying attention? And now, at the podium, Tom Gleisner. Good evening, that's great to break out here quickly as we look back on a busy news week. Now, so much can happen in seven days. King Charles was frustrated. Oh, God, I hate it. And we're just going after that. What does the uh, the king hate? Denise. Oh, the fact that people still quote him saying he wishes he was a no, tampon. No, is... he, he was young. It's he definitely... was a young boy when he That will be on the list. That will be on the list. But... <laughs> this week, what does he hate? Ed. He's having trouble getting that old lady smell out of the oh. castle. Is... <laughs> See, now you split the room there. <laughs> Ray, what does uh, His Royal Highness hate? No, he has to draw his own face over the Queen's and all the money. <laughs> and that's... We're getting closer because it involves drawing Sam. Well, as someone who takes calligraphy very, very um, seriously, it's a leaky fountain pen mm. because he's using an ink pot when in the modern day cartridges are readily available. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Accuracy so much. is appreciated. Yes, indeed, he's annoyed about the leaking pen. To Westminster last Wednesday. In the last couple of moments, there has been a slight bit of drama. Well, what was the slight bit of drama? Ed. One of the, uh, one of the guards collapsed. He did indeed. Take a look. One of the guards uh, did collapse. Oh, yes. <gasps> he's, he's OK. He was taken out and beheaded, so that's <laughs> all, all fine. Well, uh, this is ambitious. US President Joe Biden has pledged to cure the world of... Cure the world of... <laughs> Ray. Bieber fever. Is... <laughs> it's a long-term goal. To Denise. Leaky pins. Is... No, he's, he's not suffering from them, but... Uh, it. Cancer? Yeah, he's a big commitment. To Detroit. <laughs> what is President Biden doing there? <laughs> Mel. Not getting started on that cancer cure. <laughs> <laughs> getting distracted a little bit. What's he doing there, Ed? It's the world's most elaborate mobility scooter. Is... <laughs> it's not. Anyone know the backstory here? Uh, Denise. Is it to do with electric cars? Yes. That's yeah. all I'm chasing. He's announcing funding for electric vehicle infrastructure. Well, this is dramatic. A woman in Lebanon has been hailed a hero on social media after she held up a bank. What was she after? <laughs> Mel. Sperm. Is... <laughs> No, no. It was a bank. It was a bank bank, didn't it? Given it's Lebanon, I, I don't know, but was she wearing a baklava when it... she did it? Ah, <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there, Denise. <laughs> what, what was she trying to steal, Sam? She was stealing money, <laughs> her life savings, <laughs> to pay for her sister's medical, uh, bills. medical bills. Yeah, it was, she was trying to take her own money back. This retirement home in Taiwan has been criticised after providing residents with what? <laughs> Denise. Kool Aid. Is uh, <laughs> they would all enjoy that. Yeah. Was it uh, story time with Denise? Yes. <laughs> None of it is as entertaining. Uh, Ray, what did what would they provide the residents with? A uh, hope. Is <laughs> Denise. I do know this. A stripper. <laughs> I've never been more excited to use this phrase. Let's take a yes. look. <laughs> Disgusting. She wasn't even dressed as a nurse. <laughs> she was at the beginning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for a big week for Ryan Reynolds. The procedure itself doesn't take long. We talk, you know, 30 minutes, something like that. What's the procedure? <laughs> right. Hair extensions. Is... <laughs> Who needs them? Denise? Um, he, he filmed... He made a film of himself having a colonoscopy. He did? And the reviews are in. All right, tell you <laughs> It's a bit shitty. Thank you, Denise. All right. Courtney Kardashian has a new business. What's she selling? Denise. I'm thinking, like, the nude bottom and that huge green pill... Uh, suppository. Yes. <laughs> it's, 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 it's pharmaceutical. Right. Oh, um, is it... Some, is it some kind of vitamins? Vitamin and supplement gummies. Is that, is that Ray's first correct oh, answer? Oh, Ray, 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 Ray. was a photo of a Kardashian's ass. <laughs> when you keep up with the Kardashians like I do, yeah. you're, you're away. Right. Well done, Ray. It's time to meet our special guest quiz master. He just beat out 60,000 students around the country to win the Prime Minister's Spelling Bee. Please welcome Zachary Cheng. <laughs> Now, 
Okay. Congratulations. I, I have to start with this question. Have you ever seen this show before? Uh, yeah. I watched a couple of episodes. A couple of episodes. <laughs> so you kind of know what, what it's all about? Yeah. Okay, That's good. It's really funny. <laughs> good on you, Zach, Zach. You know I'm the star, yeah? <laughs> Hey, Zach, how do you practice for a spelling competition? Um, well, I read almost an hour a day, so I have a lot of new vocabulary. And the day before the Nationals, I practice for like, about an hour. Wow. Just to get my head. Only an hour before the National competition? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Good to keep fresh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, Zach scored a remarkable 28 out of 30. I don't want to bring it up, but what were the two words that you Stop. stumbled on? Oh, oh, um, could you spell a-hole? <laughs> So, uh, yes, a brutal insight into your parenting, by the way. <laughs> oh, what are the two you got wrong? Jeez. The words were there? Um, a query. Um, and this is really embarrassing, but I got pulverised wrong because I put a Z instead of an S. Well, it's what a rookie error. What was that word, Tony? A pulverise. Pulverise. Yeah, That's Ray's nickname. Oh. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Um, this week marked King Charles' accession to the throne. Spell accession. Oh. <laughs> A session. May I have it in a sentence, please? <laughs> but he gave it to you in a sentence. That's enough. <laughs> you did. You? A S A S E. You're wrong. Oh. A double C E double S I O N. Yep, that's correct. Good skills. Yes, Sam. Zach, is there anyone uh, anyone at school that you don't really like? <laughs> no, like either either a fellow student or a teacher. You can tell me now. Because no. I'm just saying, if you wanted to just send them a message, <laughs> now would be a good time, Zach. Yeah, you, know? you could go for it. All right. Yep. Come on. No, I think this is you. This Zach's got, got a few more questions. This is you. Meet 13 year old goalkeeper Emir Abeli. How did he make history this week? Uh, Denise. He's 13, did you say? Yes. Yeah. Ah. He cleaned up his room without, <laughs> without being told. Without being told. Ah, bigger chamber, but this is bigger. Ip. Uh, he made his professional debut in the FFA Cup. As the... Well, goalkeeper. He's you... wearing gloves. Age is a factor. He's 13. Mel. He's, he's the youngest yeah. to do it. You're going to give it to Mel because she jumped in at the end? Go yeah. Yeah! <laughs> uh, yes, Ray. S-O-C-C. <laughs> Sorry, Ed, I think Mel might have Absolutely. the key bit we were chasing was the youngest. Yeah, no, yeah. Youngest player. Next question, please, Zach. Um, we're going to Thailand, and why has this burger gone viral? Denise. Gastro? No. <laughs> oh, more exciting. Sam. I hope you don't understand this, um, uh -oh. Zach, but the, the Happy Meal in Thailand is very different over there. You know? <laughs> It's the, it's, the, it's the bit in the middle of the burger. Ed! It's made of insects. Or it's some sort of insect, isn't it? Uh, you, yeah, it is that... some sort of insect. What Maybe. sort of insect, Zach? It's a cricket. It's a cricket. Mm. Zach, you're obviously very, very intelligent and hard-working. What do you want to be when you grow up? I have no idea. You have no idea? <laughs> Would you like to host a quiz show? No. <laughs> what about Sam? Would you like to grow up and be just like Sam Pang? <laughs> no, thanks. OK. <laughs> oh. All right. Listen. Listen here, you little punk. <laughs> We have another special guest quiz master. She just stepped off the plane, having done this. Needs another 30 centimetres or so to move into the lead. That is a huge throw. Kelsey Lee Barber becomes the first woman in history to successfully defend this title. Reigning world champion javelin thrower, Kelsey Lee Barber. <laughs> Now, that throw was a few months back in Oregon? It was, yeah. Who was your rival on the day? Oh, well, it ended up being the American mm -hmm. and the Japanese were the okay. other two on the podium. And actually another Australian. Wow, so oh. we, we're quite well stocked in the javelin stakes. We certainly are, and we have Kelsey, been for many years. Kelsey, do you not know their names? <laughs> I do, I just wasn't sure how long we wanted to... No, no so Kara, Kara Winger, yep. uh, Haruka Kitaguchi, yep. and Mackenzie Little. And would wow. you go so far as to say that they are all cheating? <laughs> No cheating in, in no, what we do? No. No cheating, of course not. not. The London Marathon is now allowing people to register as female, male or... Denise. Unfit. Is... 
probably shouldn't have shouldn't have entered. No, Ray. Uh, alpha male. Yes. <laughs> oh, if only Sam. Non-binary. Correct. And Sam, you were saying you think that's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I was repeating a text message that you sent me <laughs> earlier, earlier in the week where you said this is... Yell at me. You, said, you said it was political correctness gone mad. <laughs> so, sorry, <laughs> Gosselet. Yes. Silly it's, man. It's a long-running dispute. This is impressive. Which sporting star is queuing here for 12 hours to see the Queen's coffin? Oh. Yeah, this is David Beckham. Correct. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? There's like 12 hours or something, which extraordinary enough. But he's got to make small talk with... Like, he's not surrounded by an entourage. He's just standing in line. No one proves how hard small talk is <laughs> than you. <laughs> than you. Just say. He's, I, would feel, I would feel for him if he was stuck next to you in no. the line. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio is rumoured to have a famous new girlfriend. Who is it? Denise. Greta Thunberg. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Or is she a bit old? No, a bit old. That's great. She's Mel. gone with an absolute geriatric 26-year-old Gigi Hadid. Thank you. I don't know about the age, but the answer is correct. Tough week for Jeff Bezos. What happened to his new rocket? Mel. He, he couldn't get it up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Yes. Congratulations to our winner. Thanks to everyone for being part of the show this evening. We'll leave you with a reminder of the need to pay attention to adjectives when presenting a TV news bulletin. The police department in California is taking an unusual approach to catch porn pirates red-handed. Porch pirates, yes. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Good night, Australia. See you next week.